Hi everyone, this is your program 10 Minutes with You. My name is Damdola Halfred and I will be your host. This is a program where we discuss how your Christian life influences your day-to-day -day activities. And with me on the program today is an amazing guest, someone who has been able to build a business from the scratch. She's into event planning. We'll get to know about her, but we have to go on a short break. We will be right back soon. Today's service has been so awesome, so inspiring, so motivating, and so much to learn spiritually, not just spiritually, emotionally, intellectually. In fact, today's service resonates with every child of God as a Christian ought to know and learn. If you miss today's service, you really miss a lot because we really learned a lot, so many inspiring testimonies. The preaching was wow. So I thank God for being part of today's service and all that we learned today. I pray that the good Lord will help me to resonate with it and practice it fully, completely in my life. You are welcome back. Remember to always subscribe to our YouTube channel and always like all our social media handles. Just like I said the other time, with me is an event planner and she's right here to discuss with us how she has been able to build a business and how these activities has also influenced her crystal life. She's Mrs. Susan. Mrs. Susan, you are welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, you are looking good. Thank you. Oh. I would like to know about you and uh, the audience also would like to know about you. You are an event planner. What are your experiences? Thank you for having me here. It's a privilege. I'm into event planning. I help brides plan their events from start to finish. And especially brides on a budget who probably do not have the resources to formally employ a wedding planner for their events so through my platform they are able to network and get and all the people they need to have their events the way they have dreamt it so basically what we do is we have we we have different social media channels where we form something like a community where the brides can meet the vendors, we showcase the jobs of the vendors and other events. And in our DMs, they come to us asking for probably some specific vendors whom they want to be sure that they are legitimate, you know, they are not scammers. So in such a situation, we help them out, we refer them to the vendors they want That's in the good. particular location that, they that, need them. That's good. Uh, there are various aspects of uh, event planning. Yes. Which one is yours? What, wedding, do, you, what do you specialize wedding, on? Traditional wedding. Squarely yes. wedding. Traditional, traditional wedding, wedding ceremony. ceremony. That's, that's nice. That's nice. Yes. We, I want to know, have you dealt with any difficult client? And uh, what make you think that kind is difficult? And how are you able to handle it? Well, a lot, most at times. One thing that made people so difficult is finances. Mm. Because it's a very scarce commodity. So as much as possible, people are on a budget. They don't want to spend too much. Secondly, the attitude. There are people who could be very saucy, but as you know, as someone that is handling a po the public, you have to be patient. Yes. You have to be tolerant, and you have to be able to overlook certain things and focus on your aim. So when I encounter such people, I make sure I'm very patient with them, and most importantly. I try to be honest so that no matter the situation, my yes is yes and my no is no. Wow. So 
patience is the key and yes. uh, overlooking some things um most christians do preach against the intake of alcohol you are a christian a born again one for that matter i want to know do you share the same belief yes i do okay that's good but that those are the challenges we face in our business okay i'm i'm about going to that i'm about going to that <laughs> in a situation where you have a client that insisted on the ordering for alcohol as part of the event how do you convince this kind of client and you don't lose your job it is not in your place to decide what they use for their event what we actually what you are there to handle is that all the vendors which is the decoration the makeup the photography the video the outfits are all in place most times the clients are the ones who handle drinks themselves okay and if the person is of the opinion that this is what they need because when you come to Igbo tradition most of the list that is being given to them do have alcohol in it so you must be able to separate your personal beliefs from that of the person it is okay to call the person by the side or while having conversations try as much as possible if you have the opportunity to preach the word if you feel that the person is not yet a christian okay. but trying at that instant to determine what will be used in that event is not in your place so it's very important that one you know your place Okay, let me ask you this question. Most event planner are known with this particular hat of adding no prices on the on their vendors' uh, uh, actual price. As a Christian, how do you cope with this? Adding no price, I would say it as it is, is a sin. Okay. As raw as it is. So you don't do it. I don't do it. There is no need. There are other ways to make money of a particular item your client is in need of if you're someone that probably have a very good network certain vendors you use will tell you if you give us more clients we'll give you a commission right so that would be so you a could way out yes instead why, of why telling not, lie why not and, try and explore that option getting permissions from the vendors rather than I, ripping off your clients i think i like that yes. so let me ask you the last question before we leave this program what do you what step do you take in situation where you have a last minute or unexpected uh, disappointment from the vendors or from the vendor or people you order materials for well <laughs> it happens all the time wow. so what you do is basically you try to start following up on time that's good you follow up on time you follow them up without without relaxing and assuming everything is working with phone calls with messages you are there to ensure that okay this person has arrived at the venue this thing has been delivered. You don't leave anything unchecked. Left undone. That's yes. good. It's been a nice time having you on the program today. And I hope next time we call on you, you'll be here for us. Of course, I had a nice time here. Thank you. You're welcome. And to the viewers, I hope you are enjoying today's episode of the program. And I hope to see you again next time on this same channel. Have a very wonderful time.